Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. However, we're not driving a truck today. We're going to drive a Mercedes Sprinter. This is a cargo van. Uh, even though it's a European version here, we're going to be driving it in American Truck Simulator. Today, our route is from... We are in Tacoma, and we're going down to Pendleton. These are the last two cities I have not visited in American Truck Sim, and I want to make sure we do that before Utah rolls around, which is coming up soon, I hope. I don't really know. So this is the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. Pretty cool looking uh, little utility van. Um, it does have a few options. You can make this a passenger version if you would like uh, and have passengers uh, visible in it. But we went with the cargo variant here and we're going to be doing a run of just uh, some basic supplies. We have to RP what we're doing because we can't really pick anything up. Uh, and with that said, we're in a spot that you're not really supposed to be, and we're going to finagle our way around those barriers down there where those guys are hanging out. So that's the idea today. Let's go ahead and uh, check out the inside of the van. It is a very, very nice van. A big thanks to Thrustmaster for sponsoring this video and the wheel cam so you can uh, see how I uh, operate with um, uh, my equipment that I use. Uh, all of it is always linked in the description below. It's not affiliate or anything like that. I don't make any money off of you clicking on those. It's just to help you find what I use. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up. I believe it is a diesel from the sound of it. Um, and it is a manual transmission. So I just put it in good old classic range. Uh, and we will be driving just like we normally would. But we don't have to worry about driving a big 18-wheeler, which just makes us a four-wheeler now. Um, so we do have a new sponsor. Uh, very excited to announce it. A uh, new sponsor that's coming to this uh, particular series in general. Uh, and that is Next Level Racing. Let's get it right around this stuff. No problem. Look at that. We can't do that with a big truck, can you? No, you can't. We're making it right out of here. Nobody's coming either. Sweet. And we're making a Go straight. left. All right, we'll come to a stop here. So next level racing, uh, that's what I am currently using right now. That's uh, what this is all mounted to. Uh, and next level racing uh, sent me a GT track, which is an incredible uh, piece of machinery or, or uh, incredible rig, basically. It's um, all set up. It has a uh, seat built onto it. It's got a lot more options. So that is gonna be really, really cool. Uh, I'll have a link for what I use currently for next level racing. Uh, really highly recommend them. Uh, I've been using them for a long time before I ever was sponsored with them, uh, similar to what I, uh, what it was like with uh, Thrustmaster. So I love the fact that I can recommend those products to you because I use them and they're fantastic. Uh, so they're all metal design and they're, they're, they're just high quality stuff. So I can't wait to show you the GT track once I get that all set up. So I, you know, as you know, I am sponsored by a company called Jetline PC, uh, and they are uh, building me a new PC. So this PC I have currently is going to move over to the GT track rig, uh, and I will have a separate setup for just basically doing driving games like America Truck Sim, racing games, things like that. Uh, it'll make things a little bit easier on me, uh, and uh, we'll be able to actually uh, be able to, you can bypass the, okay, that's good to know. Uh, we'll be able to make this kind of content more frequently, which is great, because right now as it stands, I move my uh, cameras around, all my equipment around. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but I don't complain, I'll tell you that. We're in kilometers an hour. I have no idea what the speed is. Uh, so we're just going to kind of fly by the seat of our pants and, and go with the uh, traffic flow here. Clear on the right. Nice. This is our exit. Slow down a little bit here. And we're going to the right here as well. So I'm super excited for that. It's going to be awesome. Nothing's going to change here. Uh, I have not signed another document with... Thrustmaster, so this sponsorship currently with Thrustmaster goes until the end of November. So there's no uh, plans on the table right now to renew it or what, but um, I'm just keeping you guys in the loop, letting you know what's going on. I hope you guys have had a great week so far. I've been having a lot of fun just uh, 
flying the flight simulator and, and playing my simulation games. Oh, we need to get over because Sunset Boulevard is not what we want. Yeah, that makes sense. Are we going to be driving into the night? I think we might be. We just might be. You know what we'll do? Since we have nothing going on, if it becomes nighttime, we'll check out like the night lighting on this uh, van and stuff. And then uh, if all else fails, we'll just simply pull in and go to sleep for the night. That's not too bad. Take it in the scenery a lot differently this time. I'm going to do about 100 kilometers an hour here. That seems to be working out pretty well for us. Not a whole lot of traffic out and about, is there? No, there's not. I'm going to turn my cruise control on. We're just kind of sipping gas here in this gear. So that kind of works out for us, doesn't it? Let's turn the lights on. There we go. Yep, we just stay on this. I've got to say, though, like if you do... Um, we're getting egg. This is our exit. Okay. Uh, if you do any kind of driving in VR, this game is so realistic. It's kind of crazy. I really think that with VR, uh, you could put, you know, like a car in here. And you could have somebody learning how to drive. It would be the best simulation you could give them. It's that good. All right. We're going to make a left up here. Merge onto the roadway. Yeah, it's going to be nighttime before you know it. Before you know it. There's a bunch of cool uh, cars that were released for American Trucks, and there's a bunch of Mercedes Benz and things like that. Basically, these are originally coming out for Euro Truck Simulator, which I believe I am going to bring back to the channel before too long. So, probably before the end of the year, we'll be back in some uh, Euro Truck. I've been having fun with that. All right. Let's get up to speed. Let's see what speed that van is, is rolling at, and then we can gauge it. Looks like he's doing about 110 kilometers an hour, from what I can tell. Yep, that looks like it. Put the cruise control on, and we're good. Very cool. Well, it's pretty cool. You don't have to worry about a trailer or anything. You're just kind of doing your thing. Being a little courier service. We uh, got our podcast recently uh, on Spotify now, which is awesome. Roommates podcast is on Spotify. If you guys haven't checked it out, I'll have a link for it in the description below. Uh, you can go check out the YouTube channel, Roommates Podcast. It's just all three of us, me, Nicole, and Dave, and we just talk about random stuff, random topics that are out and about in the world, and our takes on them. Not always the most educated, but we still talk about them. Boy, this is cool, man. The, the, the sense of speed you get compared to like the truck right there is pretty realistic for 70 miles per hour. That's pretty darn good. Yeah, looks like it's going to be nighttime before you know it. We'll stop at the next uh, rest area and we'll sleep. We got a way station coming up. out, doesn't it? Just a little bit. Okay, we'll get over. We can bypass the way station. How about that? We'll enjoy a little bit more night driving here before we uh, pull off the side of the road. Rest area one mile, so we'll stop at the rest area. And we'll go to sleep and we'll get up in the morning and we'll continue our journey down to Pendleton and see what that's all about. But I don't want to miss the scenery. Man, this is crazy how realistic this is. <laughs> this being one of the one of them on the highway. Reminds me of going on a road trip. Alright, slow down here. Fifteen miles per hour. We wanna go cars. He's going towards that way, but we're gonna park go like we're as if we're a car. All right. You guys need to get a soda, get some snacks, whatever. We, we've got all that taken care of here. 
Alright, we're gonna slow down. We'll pull in right here, actually. Up a little bit further. Wonderful. Alright, sweet. Uh, not worried about parking brake or anything like that. We'll just go ahead and kill it. And uh, we'll go to bed. I woke up to this. We have uh, Inhul here boxing me in, honking the horn at me because he wants to park here, I guess. Wow, dude. Okay, okay. Well, we're, we're going to move in a minute. Hold on. All right, let's go ahead and fire it up. Yeah, I know, dude. I know. I know, I know, I know. You're just kind of a jerk, you know? You know that? You're a jerk. Um, I'm actually going to cut the wheel all the way this way. Try not to hit him. Yeah, I see you there, you idiot. And you're boxing me in. I can't get out that easy. That's not cool, dude. Watch that Camaro on that side. What a jerk, man. Not being very cool with us at all today. He's gonna be real close. All right, though, we got out. Yeah, you happy? You happy, lady? It's all yours. Back up a little bit further. I just want to see her. Yeah, I see you. I see you, you jerk. Couldn't be patient like the rest of us. All right, we don't need our lights on anymore. It is the next day. Nice early morning here. Get on the highway. Nobody's coming. We're good. Although it looks like traffic's being stupid on the merge. Nothing new there, right? Red car's gonna be a jerk. We're gonna get on the highway though right here though. That worked out for everybody. Although we're going pretty darn slow right now. They're going pretty slow, aren't they? Get around these guys. There we go. Kind of just hang out right here for right now. They know we're going to be faster than this bus. For sure. Well, let's go with the flow of traffic here the best we can. And look at this. It's so cool because we're sitting lower to the ground like a real car. Or, you know, a van in this case. So you can really take in the sights pretty easily by doing it this way. So if you want to find this van, all I did is I always go to atsmods.lt. Uh, you can go to trucks or, or, or go to other actually, and then you can go from there. Um, this was actually on a, a different website. Keep like, right. Okay. Keep right. Get over here. I see that Dodge Charger. I don't know what he was doing. Oh, we're exiting here. Okay. Uh, and you can basically uh, go to this external website it takes you to. It seems to be safe from what I can tell. Uh, and there's a download link right there. And you just drop it in your My Documents. America Truck Simulator uh, Mods folder. Easy peasy. All right, I'm gonna pay attention to driving here. I'm gonna try to do better. Because every time I get in a tangent or I start talking about something else, we uh, we make a mistake and miss our exit or something. This seems to have that issue of the uh, the frozen mirrors. If you're not looking at them right, they, they freeze up on you. See, watch. Right there, that left mirror is frozen. So it does have that issue. Keep that in mind. All right, we're on Highway 82. We take this all the way south, I believe. But Pendleton, never been there. Yakima and Nachos, okay. Well, we got another Sprinter van in front of us, look at that. Get around him. Keep left. Yep, we're keeping left. Home service. He was getting off the highway anyway. Cool. Onward 
to Pendleton we go. If you have a post ed truck passing you, you know you're going slow, so I'm gonna ramp it up a little bit here. Oh, this guy's being an idiot for his merge. Towards Pendleton, yep, that's what we want. Wonderful. So you have something different? I told you I wanted to look into some of the other mods out there. Uh, and this van is really well done. Like, just, it, it drives very realistically. It feels good. It doesn't have, like, one of those weird kind of, like, the we've driven in the past of like Mustangs or the supercars where it just feels like, you know, you're spinning like a top. Now I haven't tried any like high speed maneuvers in this thing or anything like that at a, at a racetrack, but for the most part, it feels very realistic if you're driving it that way. You're running out of fuel. Uh Oh, well, I didn't realize that this thing must suck gas really quickly. That's not good. We're going to stop and get some fuel. Well, this has been a heck of a journey already, hasn't it? I don't know where the fuel gauge is in this thing. Let's stop at the next gas station. If we make it there. That's a big if. Oh, I see the fuel lights on, but... I don't want to hit the I key. I didn't test it. And if you hit the I key, that changes your, you know, information display on the on the van. Um, certain mods, if you hit that and it's not right, it'll crash the game. So I just don't want to touch that. Way station two miles. We need a gas station. That's what we need. I'm trying to just go easy on the accelerator here. I'm trying to stretch it. Pretty part of the country, isn't it? I don't know if we're gonna get that lucky though. I don't think they're gonna give us a gas station anytime soon. I'm trying to sip it. <laughs> I really am. You can bypass, yay. I think we're out of gas though. Yep, we're out of gas 100%. Well, we're gonna have to call AAA and they're gonna put us to the next place. Oh man, this isn't good at all. The flasher's on. We ran out of fuel. Usually when you buy a, a mod or a truck or a car or whatever, it comes with a full tank of gas. This one did not. This one did not at all, so. What are you going to do? Okay, so we can do emergency refueling, and that's what we're going to do here. So, we provide you with 15 gallons of diesel. It costs you $304. Jeez Louise. Yeah, we'll, we'll take it. Not a huge deal. All right, we got a little bit in here now, so let's go ahead and get, get back on the road. We're going to stop and get gas, though. Thank you, AAA. We appreciate it. You're running out of fuel. Yeah, we know. We're trying not to run out of fuel, but God, they don't give you much, do they? Still got that. I'm out. Let me get up for this guy. They don't give you much at all for refuel services. I don't think we're gonna. <laughs> we're gonna have to do it again. It's gonna cost us a pretty penny. And we'll see what we can get out of it, but I'm not going to hold my breath on this one. I will, however, get a screenshot here in a little bit. Okay, we are back on the highway. Haven't ran out of gas yet, but I think we're going to soon enough. <laughs> Never a boring trip in American Truck Sim. Never boring at all over this bridge though it's pretty cool looking very cool bridge actually all right there might be a gas station around here let's see welcome to Oregon yeah the 
Dallas is next, right? Ontario next. Okay. And we're out of fuel. <laughs> Boy, they don't give you much at all, do they? No, they don't. All right. Well, we're going to have to get more emergency fuel services and we're going to find a place to go to, to get some fuel. All right. A little bit of outside action here. We are, I believe we're going to be able to make it to the, uh, to the gas station coming up here. Sure. Oh, hello. This is why I don't like the outside view because you can't see if there's cars coming. That's not our exit there. We want the next one, I believe. They didn't give us a whole lot of uh, options when it comes to getting fuel. So we're going to have to go past uh, where we want to originally go. I believe it's the next exit will be the gas station. All right. We just got to take it easy here, and I think we'll be able to make it. Come on, truck. You can get on the highway. Get over this way. Let them on. There you go, bud. Just trying to sip fuel here. That's kind of ridiculous that they only give you that little amount for an emergency. And we've had to use that twice. That's six hundred dollars in services. It's kind of crazy, you know. This is our exit right here for the gas station. We have Keep made it. Right. And, and then, then we have to get back on the right. highway and go back to the place we were originally going to go. Exit right. Exit right. You got it. I'm going to exit right. Keep right and then turn right. Okay. I can do that. Turn right. Ooh, a Boeing trailer. That's cool. Going right here to this BP station. Keep right it and looks, then turn right. Looks open. Not really though, does it? <laughs> I mean, it is open, but it doesn't look like it. Okay, sweet. Finally made it to a gas station. Let's go ahead and. Set our parking brake here and turn it off. Let's fill it up. All right. It doesn't take a whole lot, does it? No, it does not. All right. Let's go. Got my GPS set up for our drop off point. That should work out. What do we got here? A little quick market right here. Got some bears out front. That's cool. Interesting. That wouldn't bad if we just pulled out like that. We got to hit would have been hit by the bus. That's why you don't do that. <laughs> All right, we want to get on the highway to the left. Okay, slow down here. I've got to say, though, there's some things in this game that um, it, it's very easy to, I don't know, turn the wheel compared to real life. So it you, you tend to get this kind of hunting back and forth that happens. Um, it's ultra sensitive, whereas in a real car, it wouldn't be that bad. You get a sense of just how small you are when you're right next to these big rigs. And how low you sit compared to the big trucks. Keep left. Yeah, we'll keep left up here. For here. All right. We just get on the highway and we go down and exit, and then we take that across and we'll be where we're going. It really is the ultimate driving simulator, though. I know I've said that, but it's just true. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to drive this one in VR. I don't use VR when I record these videos. I use track IR, but VR is so much fun. Okay, onto the highway we go. We'll have to see just how much fuel this thing eats. Maybe that's a problem with the mod, but I have a feeling they didn't give us much in the very beginning. There's Tesla. 
I don't think they gave us a whole lot. We're going over that way. That's our exit. Welcome to Pendleton. I've never been to Pendleton. The last two places, Tacoma and Pendleton. For the Washington map. I'll make a left here. West to 84. It's a very quiet van. It's not very loud at all. Towards Ontario. Yeah, very, very quiet, calm. Makes you want to turn your tunes on and just have a have a blast. Slow down here. Wonderful. Speed 43. That's the only thing that I wish it had was an option for miles per hour. Which it might. I'll have to check that after we get where we're going because like I said, I don't want to crash the sim off of the I key. Is our turn here to Murrieta Road is where we're going. Okay. Are they really going to let me go? Oh, all right, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Another thing is that the, uh, this, these cords get in your way when you're turning the wheel. Okay, so this is the place I was going to. I thought it was going to look way different than it does. We yield. There's nobody coming. Yep, we're going to this junkyard, it looks like. This is the place. You have reached your destination. Yes, we have. All right. Let's go ahead and pull in here. Go around back. Right back here. That's cool, that Mustang right there. It's the shop. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll just back it up right around here. to the shop I'm gonna go over this way actually job for that trash can there this will be perfect right here beautiful kill the engine all right well we delivered the parts we needed to to them they're working on that truck getting it all fixed ready to go pretty darn cool but uh I think I'm going to end things here. Let me know what you thought in the comments below if you want me to check out any other cars. We can certainly do that. And I will see you all next time. Take care.